looks like we are live. Nobody in here, but we're live. Unexpected live stream. How about that? We'll get somebody in here. There's Mr. Mike Murillo. How you doing, Mr. Mike? I am a lonely person tonight, I guess. There's Brokeback Bob. Catfish Dog, good evening. There's Jimmy Ramley. Man, I didn't think nobody would pop in. <laughs> if anybody wants to come up on panel, they can. Hello, Mr. Brokeback Bob. How y'all doing tonight? I uh, was supposed to be on Rustic's uh, show tonight, and he sent me a text and said something came up. He was canceling. I was like, well, I sit around here and uh, got things ready to do a show with him, and he can't make it, so I'm going to just come in here and try it myself here. There's Mr. Cat Claws himself. How you doing, Adam? Miss Jody, hey, how you doing, Miss Jody? There must be a lot of bored folks out there. Twelve people in here looking at looking at me, looking at them, looking at me. <laughs> uh, had good fun. Had fun last night on uh, Jody's show and on Stan's show. We had a real good time. I don't know. Uh, I finally went to bed last night. Uh, Josh had caught one fish on Jody's show, and I was tired and doing a lot of stuff so i went to bed but hopefully i caught a bunch of fish in there all right bobzilla jody did y'all catch a bunch of fish last night or was it just as slow as it's been lately i know uh bob and brandon's been out there bumping on their heads or bumping the heads on catfish or something and uh caught several nice ones they sent me a couple pictures of some nicer ones i think they was trying to make it better and it was though because uh Pretty sure, now I may be wrong, but pretty sure they sent me the same pictures of some of the fish two and three times trying to trying to get me, you know, feeling like I should have been out on that river myself, which I would have loved to have been out on the river today, but it is what it is. Hello, Mr. Tom. How you doing this evening? I know you guys probably uh, was bored with sitting around doing nothing. Twenty Thumb said, well, there's so Daryl. Let's see if he's got anything to say tonight. Let me put the spotlight in my face. All right, boys, here we go. Oh, like I said, I was supposed to be on Rustic's show, and we were going to talk about uh, some stuff and stuff coming up and talk about uh, Big Mike and uh, Misty, what was going on with them. I know you guys, a lot of you know that, but we was going to talk about that, I don't know, and probably talk some about the gathering and the King of the River uh tournament that's coming up next weekend and can't wait for that man they are some smack talking going on i can't believe ryan boris thinks he's going to be the first guy that's going to uh keep a hold of the title two times in a row nobody's done that yet if he does he'll be setting a record oh sappy how are you doing hope everybody's doing great brandon's outdoor adventures how you doing sir uh, if everybody would, you can hit that thumbs up if you'd like to. If anybody wants to share people's stuff out, they can. If anybody wants to come up on panel, hey, uh, let me know and I'll send you a link. If I can figure it out, and most of the time I can. It says invite. Here we go. Invite. See, I'm not very good at any of this stuff. I'm just learning, but, you know, how do you learn? You, you do it. So uh, I don't know how to put the link up, but I do know how to uh, send it to somebody. So if anybody wants to come up, let me know, and I will send you a link. Hey, Dale Hayslip, how you doing, sir? But anyway, next week on the 16th, we're going to have uh, nine anglers out there. I don't know, Miss Jody said something about she may have a brand new boat by then. Sent me a message about it. Jody, did you get you a new boat? Uh-oh. She said that Mr. James has been in bed all day. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, Sappy, I appreciate that, buddy. I'll be looking for it for sure. 
no doubt. I know Big Mike appreciates. Uh, guys, I'll give you just a little bit of update on uh, the Big Mike situation there in Misty about where we're at. Uh, we and tell you all the prizes we got. Might as well do that since we've got so many people in here. But uh, gosh, we got just a load of, of prizes that we're raffling off. And up to date, we are at a thousand and actually a wait just a minute i am wrong on that we are higher than that uh we are at uh 1225 dollars right now so guys i'll give yourself a pat on the back i guarantee you that's great man jody's already taken and uh getting blamed for <laughs> james being sick Oh, going to be on the pond team with a broken sonar. Okay. Well, you know, you could always take James's boat out, make him drive you around and say, yeah, go over this way, go over that way, go over there, go over there, go over here, you know, do all that stuff. I just heard the door open downstairs. Somebody may be here. You're there. We just got broke into. I don't know. Well, maybe the wife's down there. I thought she's in the bedroom, but who knows? But anyway, just to let you guys know, and if we get up to $2,000, I've made a deal that I will burn this hat. So $2,000 and we will burn the hat. Great hat. I mean, look at this, a Georgia hat. I don't know why anybody would want me to burn a beautiful, let me fix that. There we go. Beautiful University of Georgia national champions two years in a row do y'all really think i should burn this hat if we get up to two thousand dollars we're about seven hundred and something dollars away from that and uh that's what i'm being told that i gotta burn this hat so we'll see uh we'll uh we'll see about that also <laughs> uh <laughs> this is the best one guys I've laughed about this whole time. If we get up to two hundred and twenty or two thousand two hundred and twenty-two dollars, Stan has to go around in a depends diaper, nothing but a depends diaper on camera. Now that right there is a, a deal in itself. Bob says you got bait. Well, Bobby, you shut you keep you and Brandon keep snowing me the same fish three or four times. I don't know if y'all are just this disappointed because you couldn't catch more fish or or what the reason you had to send me the same three fish over and over and over i think they caught three today but just trying to make it look like they caught about 15 i don't know and uh again brandon must have caught him some bait today i'm gonna be up there wednesday bob and i'm gonna see if i can't get a bunch of bait caught up and stuff so but anyway get back i'm sorry i'm trying to read chat and talk <laughs> you, you, Daryl, have you started saying goodbye to that hat? Well, I don't know, Randy. Y'all gonna have to get in here and they're gonna have to do more donations than what they are. I just don't think there's enough people out there that's gonna make me get rid of my old hat for sure. This light's shining right in my glasses. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but usually don't do that. But boys, there we go. How about that? Maybe that one's good. Just turn it up. Oh, but anyway, how you doing, Mr. Randy, Mr. Jimmy James Bailey? How you doing? There's Mr. Ernie Brown. Hello, Ernie Brown. How you doing tonight? Uh, yep, James back was out. I think it was because uh, he was on the boat all day with me and uh, sitting around with all twiddling her thumbs because we only caught one fish that day. But anyway, so if we get to two thousand two hundred twenty-two dollars, Mister Stan's gonna have to run around in nothing but his depends, and he's gonna have to get a bigger pair than that extra large he was showing last night on screen. So the man's uh, a, a cat head biscuit away from four hundred is what he told me. So he better get him some quadruple extra large depends for sure. So uh, anyway, and then. Uh, JG said that he would shave his goatee off 
if we got up to twenty five hundred dollars and man that, that's got to be a prize possession right there but i got one more thing to say okay so far trying hard to get outside well i hope that knee's working on you better mine's starting to get better hello uh burrito catfish lady how are you doing catfishing lady miss amy uh anyway so here's the deal I've got it worked out, guys, and this this is a good one here. If we get to three thousand dollars, if we raise three thousand dollars up for Big Mike, me and Stan Three are doing a one v one on the day that we're doing the boat versus bank uh, tournament. He's going to be in the boat, and I'm going to be on the bank. Whoever catches the least amount of fish that day while we're in the tournament, they're going to keep the set, the score separate. While me and Stan 3 are in the tournament, whoever catches the least amount of fish has to do a belly flop into the river. And that's if we get to 3,000. I've done made him fess up and say he would do it. So if we can get to $3,000, you know, I'm going to whoop up on stand three like his daddy should have done a long time ago. And I'm going to catch more weight of fish than he ever thought he was going to catch. And I'm going to put him up there in the beloved James River that he fishes in. What do y'all think about that? Think we could get that done or what? <laughs> I could just see old Stan with his head hung low because the Tennessee River done put a whooping on him up there in the my James River, you know, and uh, we put a good whooping. Uh, oh, oh, Jody's done slung it out there. I challenge Lisa to eat a shad if they get to four thousand. Four thousand hmm, dollars. That sounds like a. All right, Lisa, what are you? Are you game? Are you scared? Will you do it? Not happening. Come on now. This is for a good cause. I mean, we're trying to help Big Mike and, excuse me, Misty out and uh, raise some money for them. I, don't you know how many people's going to want to raise some money? And, man, just it'd just be funny. Just be funny to watch one of them puking up a <laughs> puking up a shad after they had to eat one because we got to four thousand. A shad wooden cake. Now that, that might be good too. A shad cake. That might be right my order. You know, she don't know what color her own wedding's gonna be anyway. What's up, Ryan Board? All right. Thank you, sir. Uh let me tell y'all something that we've got. Uh, see, Ryan sent that for Big Mike and his family. But we actually have, if somebody can put this in chat, if you want to donate to them and not let YouTube get it all, uh, he has a cash app. Of, uh, and it's uh, and the cash app is dollar sign fishing with Big Mike 78. That will go straight to Big Mike. And a PayPal also was fishing with Big Mike at gmail.com. If you guys want to donate to help him out, and uh, I guess most of you know what's going on. Uh, his wife had to have emergency amputation of her foot because of a blood clot. And that's put him in a bad way. That's really a sad situation. And we are selling tickets for a raffle. And for if you send $5 to Big Mike, one of those, ca one of those apps, either PayPal with fishing with Big Mike at gmail.com or cash out which is dollar sign fishing with big mike 78 uh you can if you send five dollars you'll get one raffle ticket and for every ten dollars you send it'll be three tickets so if you send ten dollars you'll get uh three tickets twenty dollars you'll get six thirty dollars nine so the the more you put in the more you get and here's the following stuff that uh, the following prizes that we'll be raffling off uh team snagging whiskers has put up four not one not two not three but four ancient mariner six thousand reels that they will be giving away we'll be drawing 
eight, uh, for the young wood, we draw him four times. Let me show you something. Hang on. Look here. Look here. We got the piggy bank with all the people so far that's donated. It took me about two hours to fill out all those tickets. But I mean, there's just all in there. Drop one. There we go. Got back in there. So it is full. But anyway, there, we will draw four times for an ancient mariner grill. Uh, Freddie at uh, FOA Custom and Gear.com. That's Freddie at FOA. Uh, and it's if you want to order anything from him, it's FOA Custom and Gear.com. And uh, he's giving away a starter tackle uh, pack. That's a between say, uh, 50 and 75 dollar pack. Plus, he's giving away 25 bait towels with custom logos. So whoever wins will get a custom. They can put their logo on the towel or they can have any logo they want. So if you don't have a logo, you could always say, put that there. Trophy Seekers Outdoors logo on the thing. Yeah, that's it. Because, you know, you love the Trophy Seeker Outdoors. Oh, and like I say, Brian, I appreciate that. And uh, we'll try to get that to him when he comes through. Uh, and I'm sure, like I say, that he appreciates anything. And then Fish on Ed Evans YouTube channel. If you guys uh, know Ed Evans, uh, he's giving away a hat, a T-shirt, and a sticker. So we'll be drawing for somebody to get a, a hat, T-shirt, and sticker package there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then uh, Triple City, which is uh, has, has live, uh, triplecityanglers.com. He's got all kinds of stuff there. Uh, triplecitiesanglers.com is giving away a force rod. Uh, and I'll show you the rod, actually. Beautiful, beautiful rod, guys. It starts out with a light yellow and, turn, and it's blue. They show up under... Uh, black lights i mean they just stick out there it's beautiful light comes with a uh, it comes with a, a rod sock also it says force on it so we'll be giving away this blue rod this is all going to happen thursday so you'll want to get your uh you for sure won't get tickets the, for the raffle bought by then real time catfish how you doing sir i hope i don't miss anybody backlash fishman so to try and do this myself, if anybody wants to come up, let me know and I'll send them a link. My dog's coming in the room, so you're going to hear her some heavy breathing. She's a big old bulldog and she just come up two flights of stairs. So but anyway, let me get back to this. And then uh, Big Mike, uh, uh, Big Mike's YouTube channel, which we all know is Mike. That's his wife's had the surgery. I uh, had to do the amputation. He's giving away a 12 foot slime cat rod. So we will be drawing for that also. Uh, and then we'll also be giving away two Cat Claws bank rod holders. So these are rod holders that's made for the bank. It's from Cat Claws. They'll be, he'll, Adam will be giving two of them away. If you want to see what he has, you can go to catclawsrodholderllc.com. Once again, that's Adam with uh, Adam Zimmerman. He owns Cat Claws rod holders llc.com you can go see what all he sells over there it's more than just rod holders but he's giving away two cat claws bank rod holders that's awesome and then monty with GuardDogProducts.com is giving away two guard dogs i can actually let me show you uh the the rod holder that uh cat claws going it says cat claws you can paint them any color you want you you can step on this and push it down in the ground or if you're in hard stuff, you can take a hammer and hit it right here and drive it in. And then you can also use this spike to drive right down in there. Also, I mean, that's triple. You're going to take a big fish to ever try to pull that out of the ground. But that's, uh, that's what Adam does. It's an awesome deal there. I forgot I had that. <laughs> but uh, he's going to actually send somebody two of these. Um, very heavy duty. Look at the uh, welds on that. I mean, just beautiful weld work on that. So, if you want two of these, 
we're going to draw for those. Let me put that back over here. And then guard dog is going to be giving out two guard dogs. He'll be the guard dog pro and the pro two. Uh, the reason there's two different ones, if you got a small eye on the top of tip of your rod, you'll use the pro two. If you have a larger eye, you use the pro. And he'll also be giving away a jersey, which is a super nice jersey. Uh, man, and those things are not cheap. Uh, and he'll be giving that away also. That'll go to some lucky person. And once again, that's Monty o over at uh, Monty Sheets over at GuardDogProducts.com. Go check their stuff out. Guys, I, I appreciate everybody to give this. I'm trying to uh, give them all recognition. And if you want some of that stuff, uh, <laughs> I want to be says. Those cat claws are strong like Daryl's belt. I put them in some sketchy stuff and they didn't move. But I guarantee you, I have to have a strong belt for me. But hey, I've become a suspender guy now, guys. I'm liking the suspenders. They uh, they won't take in a, they won't let you down most of the time. Oh, Mister Fracture Fix. So anyway, like I say, we're doing all this for Big Mike. Uh, let me say once again, $5 for one ticket or $10 for three tickets. And every $10 you give gets you three tickets. So once again, $20 gets you six, 30 gets you nine. Cash out, fishing for the people that may have just came in. If you want to do cash out, it's fishing with Big Mike 78. Uh, if you want to do pay PayPal, it's fishing with Big Mike at gmail.com. So, uh, everybody, if you will, uh, help them out. Like I said, I know they've got a lot of expenses. This was this was a, a, a surgery that, you know, an amputation is bad enough to this, but this was something that wasn't expected. She's not a diabetic. Uh, got a blood clot, and then all of a sudden they did, they did a surgery on Tuesday. Thought everything was great. Thursday, the circulation went away from her foot, and they had to amputate it. And can you imagine the mental agony on that? So... Not good. Let me get on down through here. Uh, Bearded Fisherman T-shirt. So uh, Steve Thomas with Bearded Fisherman is going to be giving away a T-shirt. Uh, Bobcat YouTube channel, which you, everybody knows Bob, Bobcat Outdoors. He's giving away a T-shirt, a hat, and a sticker package. Two stands. I said two, two stands. Uh, fishing YouTube. Uh, T-shirt, hat, and a sticker package. Uh, excuse me, I, I missed that. That was Bob Cash doing that. He's giving away two T-shirts, so we'll be drawing two times and giving away two T-shirts from two stands. And then Lisa and Randy's in here right now, uh, and we appreciate them. They are giving away an anvil rod, so we'll be drawing for that again also, too. And then Tim and Shelby Donna, we appreciate them. They're going to give away five bags of candy to one uh, or it's going to be five can uh, bags of the uh, freeze dried candy. That's the big hit right now. And one person will get all five bags of freeze dried candy. So that's crazy. Uh, Y'all going to have some good time with that. And then Stuart with Fishing Whisper. And I may have that wrong. I was trying to write it, write it this very fast. And if there's somebody in there, if I wrote this down wrong, I think they said he was from Australia. Stuart was his name i think uh his youtube channel was fish whisper he's getting away 10 stinger flies and if i've got that rope down wrong somebody help me out and correct me on that and uh then big mike again is giving away a foa rod and then uh skull rush youtube channel said hey get here this is skull rush i want to give away a pissy fun chaos 50 reel that goes with that foa rod so We'll draw one ticket and we will send the chaos reel and the FOA rod to one lucky winner there. So that's pretty dang cool. Stuart is from Scotland. Okay. Is his uh is his YouTube channel called Fish Whisper? Let me know if that's right or not, double hook angler. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then uh then uh Thompson Outdoors uh tackle and more. Is going to give away a custom thumping pole to call bait fish in. I don't know if y'all seen these YouTube channels, 
where they've got these poles and they bump on the bottom of their boats and it actually brings the bait fish in. You'd think you'd run them off, but I mean, I've seen them where they're sitting out there and not getting a bite and all of a sudden, thump, 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 and they start catching fish. Well, he builds these things and uh, he'll do it customized. And so if anybody wins that, he will build you a thumper stick for your boat where you can thump in the bait. So that's what he'll be doing. So that's uh, that's the prizes. And like I said, I want to recognize everybody that gave prize. Thank you so much to everybody that has. Uh, we appreciate all you're doing. Uh, if you like to say, once again, cash out, uh, dollar sign, fishing with Big Mike 78 for cash out for PayPal. It's fishing with Big Mike at gmail.com. Uh, I know he'll appreciate that. I talked to him today and asked him how his wife was doing. He said she's doing pretty good. This was the first thing this morning. That she was up, uh, had just got up and was eating breakfast. And then uh, uh, I'm not trying to bug him all day, but he's sending me, letting me know everybody that sends to his cash out and his uh, PayPal. He lets me know who gave and how much they give, where I can write the, do their tickets. What I do is I take these tickets and write their names on them and then put them in the old piggy piggy here. Now I'll put this in a bigger container once it's over with, but that was the first thing I saw and I thought, feel the pig. That's a great deal. So anyway, he lets me know, and I spoke to him later today, and uh, he said, hey, I just I went to the dam. I'm up here. just had to get out and clear my mind a little bit. So, you know, it's stressful on Mike also. I know uh, Misty had the operation and everything, but I know it's, it's stressful on him too. So he just said, hey, I just had to get out and clear my mind a little bit, rode up to the dam and just sitting here. So hopefully he's doing okay, and uh, we'll uh, – be able to help him because you know the more gets done i mean you know uh it's uh gonna have to do prosthetics and you know i'm sure you'll have to go to uh learn how to walk and all that stuff and there you know nothing's free anymore and they're gonna need nothing else gas and groceries and he's missing a lot of work so thank you want to be outdoors appreciate you matt for putting that up there uh i really do uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of expenses. I know I had cancer about 15 years ago and it cost a lot of money going back and forth. When I had a stem cell transplant, I actually had to stay down there and it was very expensive to stay down in Atlanta. So, uh, anything we can do to help them to ease the pain, uh, you know, they've got enough worried about with going back and forth to hospital and, uh, you know, learning to walk and going through, uh, I call it rehab, but it's not really rehab. The therapy, physical therapy and stuff like that. The more we can help them, the better off they'll be. So uh, we appreciate them for that. And I'm not going to just sit here and rumble on about this. If you want to help out, we, I'm sure he appreciates it. Uh, if anybody's got a question, feel free to please uh, come in here and say so. But anyway, we'll move on now to uh, the King of the Tennessee River. In the Tennessee River, we uh, started this uh, uh, almost a year ago. And I went to Daniel with Catfish Sumo and said, hey, I think we could have a great online tournament if we created a belt like a wrestling belt or a, a boxing belt, you know, or a UFC belt where whoever wins the tournament wins the belt. And I said, I'd like for you to sponsor that. I said, and we're not only just going to do it one time, we're going to do it multiple times and see who can hang on to the belt. So that's where the King of the Tennessee River came from. So, so far we've had three tournaments and we've had three champions. The first tournament uh, was won by Bob. He was bumping at the time and he won it. And then it started getting cold and bumping started going away. And then... That's when John with Catfish uh, Hunters TV won it then. And then after that, Ryan Bortz came in from Kentucky and said, boys, here we go. I'm going to win this thing. And he won it. So Ryan Bortz now is the champion. And he will be fishing on the last day, which will be March the 23rd. Uh, we're going to have nine anglers on the 16th. And we'll have nine unless somebody has to drop out on the 23rd. 
at the end of the day, we will know out of 18 teams who is number one, the king of the Tennessee River. Can Ryan uh, retain it or will somebody knock him off? This is a tournament where you can have as many rods as you want to. You can fish any way you want to. You can bump, you can drift, you can, you know, use uh, any type of method that's legal you can use and use any bait, but it'll be the top three fish. So in other words, uh, you know, you might catch six fish, but the top three fish is what's going to add up. Uh, the last tournament, I lost by 1.4 pounds. <laughs> A heartbreaker, a heartbreaker. But you know what? It happens. It happens. <laughs> you know, uh, I could not catch 1.4 pounds. I only caught two fish. And those two fish weighed more than everybody else's three fish, except for Ryan Bortz. And I just couldn't catch another fish. So uh, I got real close. I, I had a channel catfish. That dad burn old. <laughs> That dang old James come in, he parked his boat about 100 foot behind me and threw as hard as he could and fished right under my dang boat because he knew where I was at. It's a good place. And he caught, a, I think he said it was a seven or eight pound channel cat. If I would have caught that, if he had to come in there and took my fish away, you know how James is. He's just a thief in the night. And and then Jody's on the boat just a little cat on her head off about it. And I'm like, what's going on here? So I got beat. They beat me down. But that's all right. I'm going to get some redemption. I said, heck, I can't win none of these tournaments. So I put Woody in it this time. He's the captain this time. Let them all laugh at him because I'm tired of everybody laughing at me when I can't win. So that's coming up. And uh, I think that's going to be fun. The gathering's coming up. It's going to be great. I think everybody's going to have a wonderful time at the gathering. We have more door prizes than we've ever had. It's crazy. Uh, Mike just sent me. Wow. Woo. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure the person that just donated, uh, thank you very much. You know who you are. I don't know how I'm going to write all them tickets out, but okay. That's awesome. Heck yeah. We just, I can tell you this way. We just broke. My hat's going to burn. <laughs> my hat's going to burn. Now then, we need to get up to where. Now, we need to get Stan to be wearing only the pins on camera because uh, I can just tell you we're over $2,000 now, and, I, and we've got a couple other ones that just gave to So that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so awesome. Guys, let's uh, get the word out. I put out on Facebook. If you go to Daryl Morris uh, on Facebook or go to Trophy Seekers Outdoor Facebook page, I put out uh, everything about what was going on with Mike and Misty, you put their picture on there. If you guys can share that out where people can know what's going on, that's so awesome. Yes, I'm so thankful that we got to that point. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, if uh, you guys can, uh, let everybody know about it. And, uh, hey, you know, we can make this a lot easier on them. And... Uh, I tell people, don't give till it hurts. Give till it feels good. Make you know, try to give till it feels good. <laughs> Jody says all fair is on water. I know, I know. But hey, I want to tell you something, Jody. Like I said, Kevin Lakin made the cool catch rule. What is the cool catch rule? In the online fishing, you cannot get within 50 foot of another boat. And that was because of the Cool Cat's rules where James, Mr. Cool Cat, caught the fish out from under my boat. He knows just as well as everybody else knows I would be the king of the Tennessee River had it not been for James taking away my fish. That's it. But anyway, this year, the gathering, we have more sponsors than we've ever had, guys. And this is going to be May the 18th, 19th, and 21st. I, I'm just so excited. We're close to uh, getting enough money where we can do a thousand dollars first prize, uh, place for the longest fish. This is not a fishing tournament. This is for anybody that comes. You don't cost you a dime to get into this tournament. This is going to be a great tournament. We're working hard to get it. But uh, what it is is the longest fish 
That way, if somebody from the bank can catch it and measure it, somebody from a kayak, from the boat, anywhere you're fishing at, just keep a ruler with you. If you catch the biggest fish, you win $1,000. Second place, $500, and third place is $250. I feel confident that we're going to get enough donations to where we're going to get there. Yep, 17th, 18th, and 19th. Uh, Guys, I will be the up there the Wednesday before. So, because there's a lot of people just come in there and are making a week's vacation. I know four different people has done that. I will be there on Wednesday. Uh, so I'll be there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we'll leaving be leaving Sunday on the 19th, which is my wife's birthday. So I got to get her a cake going and bring up there for her birthday. And I know somebody that I'm probably going to pay to bring it. Uh, Miss Amy with three plus one. I'm going to call her up and I'm pretty sure they're coming. Feller, I'm going to pay her to make a birthday cake for my wife. So it's going to be a big birthday for my wife. And I say, we're going to have a great time. And uh, we'd love for everybody that can to be there. We've got so many great sponsors. I'm really not set up for that tonight because I wasn't going to start uh, talking about that because I said I was actually planning on being re on Rustic's channel tonight and he had to cancel. He didn't say why. He just said something come up. So, you know, time things happen like that. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to sit here all night and just jabber jabber, but I appreciate everybody that has gave to Mike and Misty. And I know they, they're very, well, he told me, he said, Daryl, I'm very appreciative for this. You won't know how. I said, well, I'm going to let the people know what you said. Let me see if I can find where he put it. Like I said, we've went back and forth several times today. I don't Yeah, I said, he said, it will help me greatly. Thank you and everyone for everything. It means so much to me and my family. So that's, that's what he told me. Uh, like I say, we've been talking a lot today because we've been going back and forth uh, with information. And he's been letting me know about all the tickets and stuff. So we really appreciate everybody that's done anything. Lindsay said you could jabber all night. Did you tell Lindsay to sit back? And she's already got to put up with you. And there is no use in her having to worry about me. Because I know, I guarantee you, she's got deaf ears. You know what deaf ears are? She don't. She just turns, just turns you off. Just shuts you down. She's probably got... Apple uh, earbuds right now, Ryan Bortz, blue collar life. It's more like redneck life with you, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. I've had a wonderful day. It's been, it's not been uh, just super sunshiny out there today, but it's been a little bit. Got to get out and do a few things with the wife, and it's a beautiful day. So we'll probably get up and try to go to church in the morning. But I'm going to get out of here. I haven't been in here, but just about 40 minutes. But I just wanted to come in here because I had uh, told people that was going to come on tonight and talk about this. And then when uh, when uh, Rustic said he'd canceled, I was like, well, I just need to try to come on and see if I can uh, talk about it. Because I say we need to get the word out as much as we can. Our goal is to get to $3,000. Uh, I'm sure, you know, all these Dr. Reels are coming way above that, but you know, we just do what we can do, give till it feels good, not till it hurts. Uh, and let's help out, uh, big Mike. Uh, I just got enough. That's okay. All right. I got it. It's a message from some other people. So anyway, I'm not going to hang in here. Thank you everybody that's shown up. Thank you. Uh, Uh, let's see. Uh, how much is for a week at uh, Chester Frost? I'm not sure. Just go on the website. Uh, just go in Chester Frost. It's not real high if you're not getting electricity. Now, some of the ones, I mean, probably 20 something dollars a night. I, I rented three of them. I may go back and try to rent a couple more if I can get some more donations. Uh, that's in a good area. Uh, <laughs> Dang, Brandon. <laughs> now Brandon's sending me stuff. Uh, Y'all just don't know how many how many of my friends just send me hateful stuff. So, 
They they say they're my friends, but I don't know. I feel like I got knives in my back. Come say that on 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 air, there, Mister Brando. So, anyway, all right, got something else. Awesome. I got to answer this, and like I said, Mike sending me a lot of different stuff there. So. Anyway, so thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. If you want to get campsites, go on to the Tennessee uh, uh, website and Chester Frost. Uh, you can go in there and see what it costs. Hello, three nights. How are you doing, sir? Appreciate you coming in. Well, I say I just wanted to do what I said I was going to do and come on tonight. We will be on again tomorrow night uh, on Guard Dog Nation, uh, the YouTube channel. We'll be talking about night fishing. That's going to be, we're going to be talking about the different things. Adam's going to head that up. I'll be co-hosting with him. We're going to talk about uh, different lighting situations, different equipment use that we use for night fishing. So that's going to be a good show tomorrow night. That will start at 7 p.m. Central. So guys, come in and uh, check that out. We'll be talking again more about uh, raising money for the, you know, for Big Mike and, and Misty. So, uh, check us out tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Who knows? I might jump up on somebody else's, uh, channel in the morning. I, I know a, a, a something going on in the morning. I may have to get in there and aggravate Mr. Two Stands and let him know that he's about this far away. And I think we've gotten there, guys. I just got some more show of money. I'm pretty sure that. <laughs> Mr. Two Stands gonna be running around in a dead blame depends and nothing else but a smile. Uh, the we're not gonna have tournaments at the gathering. Uh, Want to be? It's just gonna be the longest fish, and you don't have to get into it. What we'll do is, you, when you get there, we'll have numbers sitting on a table at Pavilion Four. You'll get that number. And let's just pretend it's a tape measure. You catch a fish, you put the measure out, put the tape measure out there, and you lay the number up on top of that fish. You show us how long it is. You take the picture. You'll text it. My telephone, the telephone number, and all the stuff that you need to know will be on the back of that. You'll text it. My telephone, and we'll log that fish. If you're the longest fish at the end of the day, you'll win one thousand dollars. If you're second longest, you'll win five hundred dollars. If you're third, you'll win two fifty. The gathering is always a free, let me stress that again. The gathering is always a free event. We'll have barbecue, we'll have hot dogs, we'll have all the fixing. Barbecue will be made by myself, uh, my son, uh, Bobcat, and John with uh, uh, Catfish Hunters TV. We will all be uh, smoking barbecue and bringing Saturday. Uh, we'll be having desserts and everything. None of that will cost you anything. All the door prizes will probably have five to six thousand dollars worth of door prizes. Uh, you don't have to pay to do any of that stuff. So, uh, take my pass and go lay down. I already put that passy up. That was actually my grandson's pacifier. <laughs> so, uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You just come, go to Pavilion Four, get your uh, number because the reason we do that is somebody may be not even there and, and send in a fish and claim they want it and they wasn't there. So I want to make sure they at least show up to the pavilion. You got to show up to the pavilion, get the number, then you can go fish anywhere on the Tennessee river you want to. Uh, that's a stipulation. So, Hey, three nights. How you doing? I think I already said hello. Sorry about that. So there's nothing going on to be Skittles in the barbecue. John makes, you, you know, Matt, I don't know. You can't tell about John. He thinks he's the the cat's meow with barbecue. He then told me, I said, do you make your own barbecue sauce? I said, what did you just say? I said, ask the simple question. You talk about your smoked barbecue. I smoke my barbecue and I make my own barbecue sauce. Let me ask you one more time. John, do you make your own barbecue sauce? <laughs> That's all I got out of me. John. So you don't make your own barbecue sauce and you claim you're the greatest 
barbecue in the world. You smoke your, you can smoke a butt better than anybody in the world. Now you might be able to do that. Don't know. But all I know is that you, if you can't claim to be the best barbecue in the world if you don't make your own barbecue sauce. And then Bob's like, my barbecue's better than John's. I'm going to show him. I said, oh, is that right? Okay. And is your barbecue? Oh, my barbecue is way better than yours, Daryl. I'll show you that, you and your son. I said, oh, okay. Do you make your own barbecue sauce, Bob? <laughs> I was like, you sounded like John. Can you not answer the question? I said, do you make your own barbecue sauce? Because a great barbecue will make their own barbecue sauce. They don't have to go buy Putsky's barbecue sauce over here or Limburger's barbecue sauce over there. They'll make their own barbecue sauce. Do you make your own barbecue sauce, Bob? It's a simple yes or no. <laughs> He's like, uh, great barbecuers, you don't even have to have barbecue sauce on it. I said, but people's going to be putting it on there. Do you use your own barbecue sauce? <laughs> I'm like, just never mind. You don't use it either. So these guys talk about they're the greatest barbecuers. That's what we need to do. The next year, we may do a barbecue cook-off, uh, Matt. But, I mean, I think you should. Let me ask you a question. If a person is the greatest barbecuer in the world, shouldn't they have to use their own barbecue sauce, not go out and run and grab and buy somebody's barbecue sauce to try to make their barbecue great? <laughs> barbecue cool cats how you doing i heard your back was a hurt and you had to having to told me and woody all day the other day so mr russ how you doing no we have barbecues and hot dogs uh fish fry cook off man y'all want all kind of uh, cook off we're cat fishermen we can't we like to call ourselves cat fishermen but we're like we're like russ and our excuse me like bob and john we can't catch barbecue. They're catfish. We'd have to go buy them somewhere. <laughs> See, there one be says, yep, you should make your own sauce. That's right. How can you claim to be a great barbecue connoisseur if you can't even make your own barbecue sauce? That's all I got to say. I wish they'd come in here. Back is messed up, but the windy day today fishes anyway. Yep. Bob and... Uh, Bob and Brandon's been out there, and, and he's fussed me because I was aggravating. They've been out there bumping today, and they sent me about 15 pictures, but I think it was of only three fish, and then he sent over, you suck, because he knows I caught up with him. So, you know, we can have Bert, who on here wants Jody to make barbecue? You know, she could probably, since she's done, you know, she's already won the catfish cook-off. I wonder if she could smoke a butt. Bet she smoked James's butt a few times. <laughs> uh, but it was cough. If you buy the stuff to make your barbecue sauce, ain't it the same as buying something? No. No, it's not. Because you got to know what stuff to put in there. I mean, if I buy the stuff, let's just say, uh, okay, am I going to buy three pounds of uh Let's just say cucumbers and make a barbecue sauce. No, you got to know the right stuff to put in there. You know, people's got vinegary barbecue sauce. People have a sweet barbecue sauce. So, uh, you know, but uh, also a lot of my stuff, I, I, I have my own garden. So I buy, I, I grow a lot of my own stuff anyway. But anyway, no, you got to know the right amount of stuff to put in there and stuff like that. So, now. Nah. I can't hardly do that one. Got skunked my last two outings. Ooh, John, uh, James, that's rough. That's rough, man. You, and almost got skunked with me and Woody also. Whew, not good. I need to get out and redeem myself. Yes, sir, you sure do. Sounds like you're going to have to uh, kick that bad luck omen off your uh, boat. And that means uh, Jody. You got to keep her out. Fresh ingredients are the best. That's right, Matt. For sure. <laughs> oh, boy. But I think we're going to have a great time. We'll be playing a lot of games and stuff at the at the uh, the gathering and a few games. We don't play a whole lot because, you know, we, we really want people to just sit around and talk and have a good time. 
Yeah, we do the accurate cast. Well, I don't know for sure if we're going to do the long cast or not. That was a little bit uh, rough to try to do the last time, but we'll do some stuff. Guys, if y'all can come up with some games that you want us to play at the – uh the gathering to win gifts with you know we do the we do the accurate cast to win gifts and that's a hoot everybody loves doing that one but if you know of a something to do with fishing that we could do at the thing we've got something we're going to do for kids uh thompson outdoors and more is doing a fishing booth for the kids so that'll be cool and so i used to make barbecue sauce happening a long time well, I make my own. I'm pretty proud of it. It's been in my family for years. You'll be tent camping for eight days. That's cool. I'll be down there. Uh, we'll go out some together or whatever. Go out fishing together. I'll be there on Wednesday. Got that booked up. Good job. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate everybody coming in. I'm going to throw this out one more time just because I think it's something uh, that really is good for us all to do if we can. If we can help Big Mike and his wife out, Misty. Uh, his cash app is dollar sign fishing with Big Mike 78. Uh, his PayPal is fishing with Big Mike at gmail.com. Uh, we're selling tickets that's a $5 for one ticket, or if you send Big Mike $10, that's gives you three tickets, $20, give you six tickets, and so on and so forth. Lots of great prizes we've got. Uh, uh, ancient Mariner reels. We got the 6,000, not the small one, the 6,000 reels. We got FOA starter packs, uh, 25 bait towels. We got hats and t shirts and sticker package from two or three different folks. We got the force rod. We got Slim Cat, uh, Slime Cat 12 foot rod. We got the Cat Claws, uh, bank, uh, rod holders. We got the guard dogs and the jersey. We've got the Bearded Fishman t-shirt that's a big, big giveaway. Uh, let's see, uh, a t-shirt and sticker package from Bobcat Outdoors. Two t-shirts from two stands. I said two stands. Uh, Anvil Rod uh, from Randy and Lisa. we got five bags of candy, uh, of the freeze-dried candy from Tim and Shelby Donna. Uh, ten stinger flies from Stuart. Uh, we've got a uh, piece of fun chaos and a FOA rod. That's a combo that will be uh, given away. And we've got a, a custom thumping pole to call bait fish in from Thompson's, uh, Thompson's Outdoor and more. So that's some great stuff. We appreciate everybody's coming in. Hey, hi, hi, Chad Daddy. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. We really appreciate it. We'll see you guys tomorrow night on uh, uh, Guard Dog Pro, uh, Guard Dog Nation. Uh, I think it's the way it is in YouTube. Uh, it'll start at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 o'clock Central Time. God bless all you. We love you. Thank you for joining in. You guys have a great day, and we shall see you later. We are going to be out of here. Bye-bye.